watch their text and you will see what they will say. Yes, Zahra. Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, Zahra, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Can you speak louder, please? Yes, is this better? Uh, let me see, maybe it's from my side. I'm not sure why the voice. No, my speaker is all the way up. Uh, okay, so what do you want to say to us, Zahra? Go ahead. You challenged earlier, you had a challenge for us Muslims, right? Okay. If it shows like a chapter, hmm. would you go to chapter 109? 109, all right. Yes. Are you sure? Yes, it's a very short uh, chapter if you don't mind, like no problem. just going through there. Okay. But this yeah. is your choice, right? You will not regret. I won't. Okay. Guys, Shall this is her choice. She will not regret. Actually, I say, and I, don't be offended. You, you, we made a challenge. You call me because of this change, correct? Don't cry not like last time. You promised me you want to cry. I didn't cry last night. <laughs> last yeah, time, yeah, I was yeah. emotional because I was reading the part. Okay, come and on. I... Okay, here we go, guys. This is a this is a chapter. Our sister Zahra here. She chose for us, and the challenge for me to prove it is stupid. Not only is stupid, it's beyond stupidity. Let me show you why. Say or disbelieve, or don't believe, kafir one, kuffar. I worship not which you worship, nor you worship which I worship. And I shall not worship that you worship, nor you worship that I worship into you, your religion, into me, mine. Let me show this you how the creator, This is a message to humanity from the Creator. Okay, but this is stupid. Not be that, able to change okay, another on. person's belief. My friend, and I saw in your chat many people my, my are friend, praying my friend, to become a Christian. Are you, are you going to cry? I never become a Christian, just are, like are many you, don't want to become are, a Muslim. Are you going to cry? I am very happy with my religion. I believe in the one are Creator you, you who me? is not a man, who is not a woman, who okay, hold is, on, hold who on, did hold not on. give birth. Hold on, and hold on. First of, all, first of all, your God is a man. Don't change the topic. You call me to talk no, about the chapter. No, no. Okay, the Arabic go. word is. No, is, here, here, here we go. My creator is go. not a man. No, your God is a man. Don't no. lie. Here we go. This is the hate in the front of you. It's Sahih. Your God is a man, and he looks exactly as the following. He is short, he's hinted, he is woolly haired, he's one he's not one eyed. This is the description of your prophet, unless you are saying to me that your prophet is a liar. That is concerning uh, our prophet. This is concerning like the Masa the Antichrist. Yes. So our, he is our comparing between is, he is, is comparing warning, between the Antichrist. Not, Hold on. He is comparing between who? How the Antichrist look like and how the Allah Antichrist look like. Antichrist will come and say that he okay. is the Lord. No problem. So, if Antichrist is a man, why Muhammad is worried that the Muslim will be confused about him? What he said, the only difference because between him. Because Antichrist what will is come and his agenda will right, come and on, say, hold on, hold on, hold on. first he say to the people, follow hold on, hold on, me, okay. I am Jesus. Okay, no problem. And then he people will say, won't believe guys, him. Guys, did you hear? And then he'll say, he I am say, God. He will say, I am Jesus. So what the problem? He is a man. So why Muhammad saying, I am afraid that you will if be confused about him? you want, but we know, just go to the shortest surah, Ikhlas. It says, let the us, God does not forget. One by and one. Hold not, on, don't change, don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. Why Muhammad is confused if this man will say, I am Jesus? Why this man, Muhammad, is worried that you Muslims are confused about him? You might think that this is Allah. And he's saying the only difference between him and Allah is one eye. How many eyes you God have? We are taught not to have any pictures of our creator, but question. we know this is not the that question. it no, is not have. like us. No, you have. You like have. Our creator no, 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 is this nothing is not, like we've ever seen I'm not before. asking you about the picture now. I'm asking you how many eyes your God has. I don't know because we don't picture. We don't no, have any no, pictures of know, our creator. No, we know. Muhammad the only is, time we'll see our on, creator no, when we go to paradise. Us, but us, other than, us, us, listen, that we don't know. Listen, your prophet, he said, you should know that your God is not one eye. So he should have more than one eye. Do you agree? At least. The Antichrist is the, is described in Islam. He will come like one eye I, is I, black. You see, I'm running away from the question. 
Europe no, I'm feeding the hadith okay. right no, now. No, the no, 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 you are not reading the hadith. The hadith doesn't say the Antichrist is anti-Islam. Dajjal, Dajjal no. is Antichrist. But first of all, the Dajjal is not Antichrist. This is a stupid translator. There's nowhere in Islam believing in Antichrist. They believe in the Dajjal. They believe in Dajjal. I am yes. Muslim, right? Yes, the Dajjal. They believe the, the there will come an okay. Antichrist. Okay, no, he is not Antichrist. Towards the end this of is, time. He is not Antichrist. He is the false messiah, supposedly, not Antichrist. The Dajjal means the liar. Which means Christ the liar, the false one. Now, why you're a prophet here comparing between the look of the false messiah and Allah? He should he should compare between the false messiah and the real messiah. Explain to us. Because the hmm. Antichrist will come and say to the people hmm. that he is the creator, that he is the Lord, that he is God, that he is Allah. Hmm. And then the prophet is telling people, if he comes, hmm. just know your creator it does not look like this. No, my friend. He what, does not have friend, one eye. He what, is not what, blind. What you, what you and me, what you he believes as Muslims, our creator what, doesn't come to this me, world as a human, as a dog, as a, no, a, a changing form. We believe say, that hey, our hey, creator hey, is hey, a dog. Hey, hey, the gun machine. We let us talk together. We cannot like this. Don't keep going. Show me where it says that the Messiah will say he's Allah, the, the false Messiah. He will say, I am the Messiah. That's why his name is the false Messiah. His name is the false Messiah. He claimed to be the Messiah. So he will come and he claimed to be the Messiah. He don't claim to be Allah. Now, why Allah comparing between him and the look of him and the look of Allah? If Allah is you not know a man. How many times I should explain to you? Did you not understand it? That two times I told you before. Mm -hmm. When? What Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, peace be upon him, is telling us mm -hmm. that the, the, the Antichrist, Dajjal, will come. Mm -hmm. And then he will tell people that he is the creator, that we should follow him, like he is our Lord, we should okay, follow okay. him. But he is fake, you, he's not me, real. Can you show me the reference that he will say that he is the creator? And even if he says that, what does have to do with the look of the eye of this man and the because look of Allah? Because we know that the Antichrist is blind in one eye. Okay, and Allah is not blind in one eye. Our creator, we don't know how our creator looks, but we know that he is above that. Listen, listen. Our creator stop, is above stop, any, stop, uh, stop like, you can, you can stop, compare everything, but stop, we cannot never compare stop, our creator. What? We don't have any pictures. We, he is not white. He is not have, black. We don't know what he is. You have a picture. You have a picture. Hold you on. Hold on. Because the Arabic word hold for on. is are, a little bit different. You are like a gun machine. You are crazy. You, are, you, you have mental issue. You cannot stop talking. Listen to yourself. Listen. How he don't have a picture, but your prophet is comparing between him and Allah. He did not compare between him and the Messiah. Let us say this guy, he says he is God. Why he is saying you should know that your God is not one eye? The what prophet, have to do? peace be upon him, this man, is he, not. Listen, listen, this man, he Can will I come finish? As, this man, no. This man will come as a man or he will come as, in the look of a God. Can I finish my sentence? I know. I want to answer. This man will come in the look of a man or he have a different look. What is his look? Is it his look? The, is the Antichrist. Look he is not comparing. He's not comparing this God to Antichrist, he's comparing like Antichrist is let, let me show everybody how you Muslims learn away. The look of the Antichrist, do he look as a man <clears throat> or he look like an elephant or look like God? What he look like? He, he, he's coming like a man. Okay, he's thank you. Like a man. Did you hear this? He as a human okay, being, but it's not God. Okay, hold on. So why Muhammad is worry, worried that you are confused about him and he is saying that Allah is not one eyed. If the man, he looked like a man anyway. How you will think that this is Allah? I mean, how stupid the statement is, unless Allah is a man too. And now we might be confused about the look of this man and this man. So if the man is coming as a man, what's the problem? Why the Muslim will think he is Allah? It's you know what? I'll just refer back to the to the verse, um, the chapter that I just told you to read. Mm -hmm. For you is your religion, for me See, is my religion. I no know, answer, and you, every Muslim knows that no we answer, believe our no, creator no, no. is not when a man no and not answer, a woman. When you have an answer, our creator, you, away, no, you, you know, Mahal Ala, you, you, you know, Mahal Ala in Arabic. I have to hang up on you because you are a donkey now. She jumped in the verse to avoid answering. And I will go back to the verse, by the way, because we accept the challenge, and you chose the perfect verse to prove his time to be false. Just wait. I ask her if the man, the false messiah, will come as a man or he will look like an elephant of God or God. He, he said, no, he will come as a man. So why Muhammad saying, if you are confused about him, read carefully with me. If you are confused about him, know that your Lord is not one-eyed. What is the only difference between this man and Allah? 
one eye. What's wrong with this eye? This eye have a defect. So Allah have the same look of a man. Otherwise, if he is coming as a man, why the Muslim would think he's a man? He's God. That's stupid. If you Muslim reject a God to be a man, then how in the world Muhammad is saying, if you are confused about him, you should know that your Lord is, is not one-eyed. This is, should be, he should say, you should know that Jesus or the Christ is not one-eyed because this guy is taking the identity of Christ. In Arabic, there's nothing is called the Antichrist. This is a fabrication. In Arabic, it says, al Masihu Dajjal, the false Messiah, Messiah the liar, which means he claimed to be the Messiah. He's not claiming to be Allah. That's number one. Number two, as you see Muhammad here, he described even how he looked like. He is short, blah, 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 blah. And then he said, I'm afraid that you might be, I'm, you are confused about him. You should know that your Lord is not one eye. This is number one. Number two, you said that we don't worship a man. Let us see what your prophet he said. And I hope you are listening, Zahra. I will call you back, but because you are a talking machine, you don't stop. We cannot talk at the same time. If we go and see what your prophet said about Allah, look, we will find the hilarious Muhammad describing Allah. She said, we do not know how Allah looked like. I can play for you tons of verses now on, and from the Quran and Hadith. Muhammad is speaking about the hands of Allah, the five fingers of Allah, the foot of Allah, the face of Allah, and they are literally, physically, literally parts. But look at this. Muhammad said, But Allah will come to you in the judgment day in a shape. And you Muslims, when you see him first time, you are going to reject him. Look what happened. Allah will come to them in a shape other than the one they know and will say, do you see the word shape? So your Allah confirmed to be a physical being. And all the Muslims, by the way, agree that he is a physical being. He had no spirit. He is not a spirit. So Allah will come to them in a shape. What shape is that? The Muslims do not know. And he will say, I am your Lord. The Muslims will say, we seek refuge with Allah from you, which means the Muslim, they consider Allah a devil because he changed his shape. I mean, how stupid the story is. You Muslims, you will accuse Allah to be a devil because he changed his shape. Which means you Muslims, you worship a shape, you don't worship God. It doesn't matter what the shape is. You are consistent in only one shape you like. If you bring me different shape, I will not accept it. Even if Allah himself, he is the one who's coming to you, just he changed his shape. Now you don't like him. You refuse him and you say to him, we seek refuge from you by Allah, which means you are the devil because the Quran says, and each time the shaitan, he whispers into you or he whisper into you, you seek refuge by Allah. This is a statement only you use when you hear the voice of the devil. And then they will say to you, we will not follow you till our Lord comes to us. And then when the Lord come to us, we will recognize him. Allah then will come to them in a shape. They knew and they will say, I am your Lord. They will say, no doubt, you are our Lord. And they will follow him. Now, is this about seeing a physical being? Yes. Read the verse of Hadith from the beginning. People, they ask, Muhammad says, shall we see Allah, our Lord, in the day of resurrection? He said, yes. And he explained how easy it's going to be seen. And then he described that Allah have many shapes. So now what we learn from this that Allah have shape number one, shape number two. And this is against what Muslims, they always try to convince us that Allah is one. Because now what happened to shape number one? Unless you are believing that Allah is a transformer, the same as we see in the movies. Shape number one, shape number two. When Allah became shape number, number two, what happened to shape number one? He put it in the closet. And what it does mean that Allah, he had a shape. That's mean he is a physical being. He is existing in space. Because he is not a spirit, as all Muslims believe. And as long he is exist inside the space, that means he is contained. 
and that's against what Islam teach that Allah is above all things nothing compared to Allah but here we go he is a shape inside the second you say he's a shape is a shape a mosquito have a shape a cup have a shape a ball have a shape a house have a shape Allah has a shape now if we go and ask the Muslim scholars and there's tons of videos made by Muslims including Zakir Naik Zakir Naik he says Allah has a body but how his body look like we do not know thank you very much so you are lying to us you say to us oh this is not about describing Allah no it is about describing Allah and Muhammad is telling you how you can recognize Allah he is a man and the only difference between him and this man is one eyed and we can see how many verses Muhammad he described Allah has a physical being the Quran and the hadith have you ever heard of a God he have a foot and it is a physical foot you can go right now search in Google search in YouTube Allah has a hand Allah have a foot Allah have a face Allah have an eyes Allah have five fingers YouTube is full of videos made by Muslims yet when they speak to us they deny them read with me what Muhammad said the Prophet said the people will be thrown into the hell fire and it will say are there any more to come till Allah puts his foot over it and it will say Qati, Qati, enough enough you can go right now and search in YouTube for the video made by sheikhs about Allah have a foot and they explain and they say yes this is a literally foot a real foot Allah have five fingers Allah have two hands and by the way the hands of Allah is both in the right side which is very funny God So they lie to us and they say Allah is not like anything I agree in certain way yes like have you ever heard of somebody have two hands in the right side unless he have a defect birth defect and both of the hands of Allah are right hands how stupid that statement is so Allah have five fingers Allah have two hands Allah have face Allah have two eyes Allah is a human being Allah is a physical being, but he is not a spiritual, which means he have no spirit. A human being, he have a spirit. Your God, Allah, is a statue. Now, we go back to the verse you challenged me to prove to you Islam is the most silly, stupid religion. And I will call you back. But because you are a person who don't stop talking, you are just a kid who have no idea what to say. And always Muslims, they go in panic. They keep talking, talking, talking because they will not let me talk so I can get them busted. This is the whole idea. The verses you gave me from the Quran in chapter 109 proving Muhammad big deal to be a false prophet. Why? Number one, he said to them, I worship not what you worship. And this is absolute lie. The pagans of Kaaba, they worship Allah and he worship Allah. Number two, if you remember the chapter where the satanic verses come into Muhammad, Muhammad he bowed down to the idols and he said that the three goddess daughters of Allah, Manat and Allah and Al-Uzza, their intercession is hoped for. Which means Muhammad, he worship the three daughters of Allah, if this is what it's meant. So yes, he worship what they worship. Then, nor you worship what I worship and this is again a proof Muhammad to be false because later all the people of Mecca they worship what he worship if Muhammad is a prophet of God he should not say such a statement because this is a prophecy and you will not which means now and in the future you will not worship what I worship And I shall not worship what you worship. And this is a proven Muhammad again to be false prophet because when he receives satanic verses, he bowed down to the three daughters of Allah. And you are not worshiping what I worship, proving again that Muhammad had nothing to say. He's repeating the same sentence over and over. This is cannot be God. Already you said they will not worship what you worship. Why you are repeating the same again and again? 
the whole chapter have nothing to do except repeating the same thing let me make it simple for you i will change one word and instead of saying worship i will make it eat so i eat all the kuffar i eat not what you eat and you will not eat what i eat and i will never do eat what you eat because you do not do eat what i eat and you will never do eat what i eat because i have my food you have yours if this is a chapter from god then who is the stupid this is God wisdom. And this is why when we ask her, is the Messiah is a human being or the false Messiah? And if he Allah is a human being, she said the Messiah is a human being. So why Muhammad is worried and comparing between the look of Allah and the look of a man? We do not need to know how you do not need to compare between Allah and the man. Because he's a man anyway. Why would we be confused about him to be God or not? <laughs> I mean, you see how stupid this idea is? If Allah is not a man, why you are saying to me, be careful? Allah have don't have one eye. Well, uh, isn't it enough to know that he's a man anyway? And we Muslims, we should not worship a man. And by the way, we don't worship a man. You are a liar. Our Lord, he became a man, not the man became a Lord. It is you who worship a man. His name is Muhammad and Allah is a lie. This is a verse made by Muhammad, proving him to be a stupid silly again. Because how in the world he says, Oh, you believer, I don't believe what you believe in. But in the same time, he gives the black stone. Isn't it the, 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 isn't it the kuffar they believe in the black stone too? Isn't it the kuffar go around the Kaaba too? Isn't it the kuffar they worship Allah too? So how he don't worship what they worship? Then he says, no, you worship what you will worship. Isn't it Umar al-Khattab became a, became a believer later? Isn't it Khadim al-Walid became a believer later? Isn't it all those, the Sahaba, the companion became a believer later? So how he said to them, you will not worship what I worship and I will not worship what you worship. And later we prove that this is false. All of them became believers. So when I said I challenge any Muslim to show me, one chapter in the Quran proving the Quran to be made by God. I was very serious. And Zahra, you fail. You're a prophet to prove to be a false prophet. Now I'm going to call you back to give you a chance to answer. Please respect yourself and don't keep going so we can talk. We can talk over our, our each other. I will give you two minutes to answer. And when the two minutes is over, please stop. I'm going, should he, I'm going to put the, the, the clock in the... Do I have a clock here? Let us see if I have a clock. Yeah, I have a clock. Let us see where is the clock. I'm not sure. Yeah, I have a timer. Let me call you and I will put the timer on. I will give you two minutes. Please don't force me to hang up on you. Two minutes to answer me. And let us see what you will say. Why your prophet, he said they will not believe in what he believed and later all of them, they convert to Islam. And what is the point of repeating the same sentence over and over and over? This is a person you have nothing to say. Go ahead. Answer. She did not answer. All right. So do you see guys how they prove to us Islam to be false again by themselves? This is a verse, will, this is a chapter will prove to us that as God is talking, God will say, I believe not in what you believe and you will not believe in what I believe and I will not believe in what you believe and you will not believe in what I believe and you will not believe in what I believe and believe and believe and what I believe and to your religion you have mine? What is that? What is the wisdom in that? What I learned from this amazing chapter of Allah, if this guy is Allah, what he just told me, nothing. If he is making a prophecy that the enemy of Muhammad will not believe in Islam, well, all of them later, they believe in Islam because he forced them to. So what you choose from me is a clear Prove an evidence that Muhammad is a false man. 
And by the way, additional proof of corruption in Quran. Why you Muslims you add Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim in the top of the chapter if it's not there? This is addition. Fabrication. And Al Kafirun is one of my favorite funny verses or chapters in the Quran. Imagine a waiter he come to you in the restaurant, and you say he said to you, "How I can help you, sir?" He says, "You say to him, you need to learn. You see this guy in front of me. I want you to bring me food different from his food because I eat not what he eat, and he do not do eat what I eat." Because I know the eat what he eat and he will never eat what I eat because I don't eat what he eat and he don't eat what I eat. He have his food. I have mine. Can't you tell that this is a very silly statement from somebody claimed to be God? The one here supposed to is talking is God. This is God talking. We got it. I worship not what you worship. What the point of repeating the whole thing? And we, what we learn from this? Nothing. We learn only that Muhammad is making a false prophecy because later he worship what they worship, and they worship what he worship. All of them they converted to Islam. Muhammad is a false prophet, proven by this chapter you chose for us. Thank you very much. So are you going to call me back, Zahra? I called you. You did not answer. So do you see, guys, the hadith about the Dajjal prove Muhammad to be himself the Dajjal. If Muhammad is worried that people, they might think that the Dajjal is Allah, Muhammad is confirming. We have somebody trying to call. Okay. He's a Muslim. <laughs> Yes. If your God is a man, can you? <laughs> this guy is like a pimple in the ass. <laughs> Stupid idiot. If you go in the hadith, if we go back in the hadith, the hadith itself is telling us a lot that the Messiah must be God. Why? Do you remember that this woman, she said that the false messiah, he will claim to be his God? Did, did she say that? Guys, did you hear her saying that? Let's record it. Okay. If he is a claiming to be the messiah, how that will make him God unless the messiah is God? Are you getting my point, guys? She said, that this person, he is the false messiah. As I said here, Al-Masih al-Dajjal is not the Antichrist. This is a false translation. In Islam, there's nothing it's called Antichrist. Zero. Nothing. This is a lie. His name is Al-Masih al-Dajjal. Dajjal in Arabic means liar. The messiah means, you know what messiah. So the messiah, the liar. Why he is called the liar? Because this is a fake messiah. He claimed to be the messiah. We heard her saying that the false messiah will claim to be God, but the fact he's just claiming to be messiah. By claiming to be the messiah, you claim to be God. Thank you very much. <coughs> you just proved to me that Muhammad in this point, he believed that the messiah is God. And this is in the stage where Muhammad was trying to be hypocrite to the Christians. Muhammad, for a certain time, he was trying to be Christian. When the Christian reject him, he reject them. Before that, Muhammad was trying to be a Jew. When the Jews reject him, he reject them too, and he decided to kill them both. In this moment, Muhammad is saying to them, be careful, you should know that the Messiah is not one-eyed, your Lord. Because the comparison have to be, it should be, between the false messiah and the real messiah. People, does that make sense? If somebody says to you, there is a fake Christian prince and a real Christian prince, why are you putting Allah in the middle? Isn't it weird? 
What the look of Allah and the eye of Allah have to do with this guy? This guy is claiming to be the real Messiah. So we should warn them about how the real Messiah look like and how the fake Messiah look like. If Allah is not a man, the, 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 to compare between them is a stupid. In fact, this hadith was speaking about the Lord, the Messiah. The scam Muhammad at that moment, he was a Christian Nasara, a cult leader. Trying to convince the Nasara, I am like you. And this is why he compared between the false Messiah and the real Messiah. Yes, Zahra. I will give you two minutes, Zahra. Do you hear me? No. <clears throat> I will give you two minutes. I will give you I will give you three minutes. Here we go. The the, the count is started. Go ahead. I don't need a, a count. You do not need that. Okay, what do you want? So go ahead. Regarding like you're talking about like why is it repeated? What? The verse you said that the verse is repeated. Yeah. What the reason it? is because as human beings uh -huh. we learn by repetition. Oh. So the reason why I chose this verse, mm. uh, this um, chapter, mm. was regarding like other faiths talking mm. about Muslims, like maybe they should become Christians. And oh. even you were bragging like you made Indonesians become uh, Christians. Mm. So this ver this uh, chapter mm. is related to the subject because like our creator says like, that we should defend our religion. Hmm. Why you should defend the religion? Can't he defend his religion? Can't Allah defend his religion? No, because it's because it's a, it's a, it's um, directed to us. Hmm. Like if so, someone uh, okay. comes to us so and tries to tell us like, we should become saying, Christians, and we're okay, just gonna okay, respectfully okay, okay. tell them no. Okay, this so, is Zara, your religion. Zahra she, said, really Zahra, she said that the reason they repeat, they repeat the same sentence, which is stupid, she said this is not because a human being, they cannot learn unless we repeat to them. But if this is the case, we should repeat in every chapter in the Quran. We should say the same term, the same way all over the Quran. So why only in this one, it's coming this way? Secondly, why Muhammad says, I worship not what you worship, and you know you worship what I worship, or you will worship, and later all of them, they became worshiping what he worshiped. So Muhammad is a false prophet. He was saying, nor you will worship what I worship, nor I will worship what you worship. And later, all of them, they are worshiping one God. So Muhammad is a false man. He made a false prophecy. Go ahead, answer. Like I told you before, this is directed to us. Like it was directed to Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam what you should tell people that try to convince Muslims. No, this is because not, our oh, creator on, on. But you are is talking, all knowing. But this is what, but this is future. you will say to me. This is you will say to me, right? Okay. So you say to me, I worship not what you worship, and I am from Quraysh, and my name is Khad Mi Walid. And then later I convert to Islam. So this is a false prophecy. When Muhammad he said but that, were they forced, when Muhammad, were they forced, when none Mu of the people were forced to become Muslim. Hold on, hold on. No, no, we, we, will, we will show you. Okay, let us say they are not forced. This is even proven more to be horrible because if he did not force them and they still convert to Islam, that's mean Muhammad here, he made a lie. He said to them, you will not worship what I worship and later they worship what he worship. He was talking to who? He was talking to Quraysh. And Quraysh, all of them became Muslims. So I don't worship what you worship, nor you worship what I worship. You will not worship what I worship, nor I will worship what you worship. And later all of them, they worship together the same God. So it's a false prophet, false God, false prophecy. No, because this is still <laughs> relatable. Until today, the Quran is relatable. No, he was speaking Look to at the your chat, people telling me, praying okay, for hold me on, to hold become on. a Christian. I will never okay, become let, a Christian. Let me ask you, let me ask From you. From the day okay. I'm born to, okay. to the day I'm dying, I'm, mm -hmm. I'll be a Muslim. Good for you. So you will have sex in the heaven with 70 men. We don't have that. What do you so mean? How many, men, how many men will sleep with you in heaven? We don't have the men becoming that. We have other like who are Okay, so if I convert that's to Islam, subject. okay, Zahra, I want to explain to me. I don't mean to insult you. If I convert to Islam now, Allah promised me I will have 70 Zahra like you or 72. No. How many Zahra I will have? You know, you have a really disgusting way of debating. Like if you're going to debate, why can't you just be serious? I am serious. It shows your character. Are you, are you, are you making fun of Allah's words? Isn't it the Quran says Allah will promise them Versions in the heaven. You're not gonna get me. Why You're not? gonna get like there's, the, there's different creation. 
our creator. What By the you, way, what do you mean? What just, do you mean? Well, okay, okay. What what do you will go? Allah will put you in the disposal. What do you mean? I, I will not get you. I will get who? Our creator has uh -huh. created different creation. Okay, well, no, no problem. No, uh, no, it's 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 you. What the different creation? Listen, you you. When you go to heaven, how many husbands you will have? Just one. Okay, and the husband you have, how many? The women, husband I have. How many women? He I'm will married have? to. I'll be married in okay, Jan no, hold on, in paradise. Hold on, if hold, they hold, on hold on. And he, how, how many women he will have? Just one. Where do you get this from? Are you lying? The ones that are promised. Um, Zahra, Zahra, you are a liar. I challenge you in front of everybody and listening. Show me where in the Quran or in the Hadith. I, I just heard like the no, no, martyrs. No, 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 I know the verses about the martyrs. No, 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 no. I'm gonna get you are, uh, like you are, um, you are a liar. You are a liar. You are a liar. You are a liar. Certified. I'm not one. a liar. Okay, you are the go. liar. I'm going to give you, you all the liar. time you want. You okay, live okay, by okay, lying. Okay, prove me wrong. Prove to me that you, as a Muslim woman and Muslim man, will have only one woman in the heaven. I am listening. Go ahead. Prove to me. You are a liar. I don't have the specific hadith be, uh, in front of me, but well, if I show you the hadith says that the Muslim man will have a lot of women in heaven. That's for the martyrs. What for what? No, not for the martyr. <laughs> uh, uh, listen, Zahra, I don't have time for kids. Get lost. 